So for this problem, we are asked to apply um, the quick find algorithm. So in this class of algorithms that we've been calling um, basically these two operations, union find algorithms, working on these disjoint sets or separate sets, um, how do we keep track of who's connected to whom? So in this case, we're looking to show um, how we keep track of that through this array below. So as it stands right now, um, when you look at this, it looks like if we want if we want to represent this current um, set of connected components, in this case, we have one, two. So there's there are two connected components there. How would we show that in the array? Well, the ID array, if you were to go in, if I, if I want to know the ID of five, I just stick five into the, um, think about this as an operator, and it will return um, who his parent is. So the way we represent this is the ID of five is zero, which means if I were to pull that out, and I'm not setting it to zero, but it, it's, I'm just showing the current state. So the ID of five is zero. And in fact, the ID of eight and one are both zero. And the ID of zero is just simply himself. And then for the others, six, seven, two, four, three, they all belong to the nine family. So I'll show all of those, even nine, he's directed to himself. All of those will be shown with the nine. So this doesn't answer the question. This is not an answer to that question. We haven't formed the union yet. So what would that union look like? Well, the way quick find works, not quick union, quick find works. Um, it says, number one, look at um this element three and figure out what family he belongs to so you'll have to go up it's called a quick find because it's only going to be one level up that we can go and that's always going to be the case with quick find it's just one level up right one 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 so that's quick find now we've found the parent of three and then we can also go and find the parent of eight they are not the same parents, so they're in different families. So we now, we've just completed the find, now we need to form the union of those. So they're not in the same family. So, um, so we need to find a way to join these two, um, these two components. How do we do that? Um, everyone in three will end up pointing to the family of eight. So we're going to redirect, 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 redirect. And all of those elements will then belong to um, the, z the family of eight, which is the zero. So that's what that would look like. So this question was show the, I the, the ID array um, that occurs after forming that. So the answer to the question is in fact this right here um, that we're going to put into this array. In fact, all of these elements then are subsequently working or pointing to um, this zeroth um, element. And so I'll show that ID array like this. Um, ID of zero is zero. The ID of five, and in fact, um, ID, I'm sorry, the ID of one, he's also zero. The ID of two is also zero, three, four. So everyone in that group happens to be pointing to zero. Um, so that's how you would show that, um, that union. And in fact, it is a slower union since we would have had to have gone through and changed quite a few values within the array to form that. So although it is a uh, quick find because of the one level deep, it is a slow union. So after having walked through kind of the the algorithm um, graphically, this code that represents the find and the union or connect type of uh, um, application or, or, or implementation um, should make more sense. 
So since we saw that we had three and eight, right? And we're calling the guy on the left three and the guy on the right Q. And so what we do is we go ahead and take ID sub P and we set him to ultimately be the parent ID. So the ID of three, as we saw before, um, was in fact the nine. So we took, yeah, so in this case, three. The ID of three was, was nine. So we took that. Um, certainly he's the parent of three, but so we have our nine. And then what we do is we go ahead and use that PID and look for all of those guys that are equal to nine. So we'll go through the entire array. If ID sub zero is equal to nine, then the ID of zero now becomes the ID of Q. So everyone then, the ID of Q, of course, was the eight. That was his parent. So everyone now is being addressed so that it now points to a zero. He is now assigned a zero value. The ID of Q, the guy on the right, the ID of Q is indeed zero. So we go through the entire array one by one and check to see if that value is currently the nine. And we take everyone in there and redirect him to, um, to the other element. So that is why this one is proportional to the number of components that are in there.